Hello and welcome back. I'm here today with a 2022 Chevy Bolt EV. We're gonna do the inside EV's 70 mile an hour highway range test. I just finished filling her up from about 50% all the way up to 100%. She's fully charged here on this Electrify America DC fast charger. I'm now gonna head right out onto the highway and drive at a constant 70 miles an hour to see just how far the 2022 Bolt EV goes. But first, don't forget, please click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the Inside EV's YouTube channel. All right, well, we're out on the New Jersey Turnpike. I'm cruising along at 70 miles an hour. And in the Bolt EV, 70 mile an hour displayed is 70 miles an hour. One of the things we always do is check the speedometer to GPS. I have two different GPS apps. And in the case of the Bolt EV, as it was with the EUV, which I range test recently, uh, the speedometer is perfect. 70 miles an hour was a true 70 miles an hour. So I have the adaptive cruise control locked in at 70 miles an hour. There's no lane centering. So I have to make sure that I'm staying in the lane. I like the lane centering feature on the EVs that we range test because it gives me a little bit of assistance when we're doing these long range test driving. Uh, and the Bolt ha EUV had it. The Bolt EUV actually had Super Cruise that I used on the range test. But on this one, I have adaptive cruise control and I'm in charge of 100% of the steering. Uh, but in any event, we always like to talk about what we like to do to set up the cars before we do the range test. Now, first of all, I'd like to note that this is a, a 2022 Chevy Bolt EV 2LT. It has the 17 inch wheel and tires that are standard on the, all the bolts. The wheels look a little different, but they're the same size, the same tires. They're the Michelin uh, Energy Savers 21550 R17s. Uh, whether you get the Bolt uh, 1LT or 2LT, you get the same tires. The wheels are basically the same, except the 2LT has like a polished uh, aluminum look, uh, but it's basically the same wheel, so the aero shouldn't make any difference. We set the tire pressure to the manufacturer's recommended pressure, which in the case of the Bolt EV is 38 pounds per square inch. I, set, I always set that uh, the night before when the tires are cold and it's sitting in the garage. Uh, we set the climate control to somewhere between 68 and 70 degrees. Uh, on the Bolt EV has a really good climate control system. It blows really cold. So I, I had it set at 70 degrees and I actually bumped it up to 71 because it was too cold. Uh, and um, it's hot today. Uh, temperatures, it's great range weather. When I started the range test, we were at almost 80 degrees early in the morning, and now we're already up to 88. So um, really good range uh, temperature, uh, and uh, the climate control doesn't seem to be working too hard. I have the fan setting on the lowest setting, uh, and it's set at 71 degrees, and the bolt shows you on the display what percentage of energy is being used for propulsion and also for climate control, and we're using 2%, and that's what I used when I did the EUV range test also. So I think that's pretty much where we're probably gonna end up at. Even though it's a super hot day, it only needs uh, to use 2% of the battery to keep me nice and cool in here. Uh, there's no eco driving mode in the bolts. There's a normal mode that it default, defaults to. And then there's a sport driving mode and then there's one pedal driving. Uh, but there's no special eco mode. So we're just in the normal driving mode. I always check the wind apps also. Wind is not gonna be a problem today. Well, at least not unless things change dramatically. Right now, there's only about a one mile an hour wind coming from the west. So that's really not a fresh, great range test today. So we should get a real true look at what the Bolt EV can do on a relatively flat surface driving at a constant 70 miles an hour. I'm gonna check back in when we're at 75% state of charge. We'll see where we're at. All right, we're at the 75% state of charge point. We have gone 25% of the range test and we've driven 65 miles. That's really good. If we were to repeat that for the rest of the trip, we'd end up with 260 miles. Now, the Bolt EV is EPA range rated at 259 miles per charge. That's the combined EPA range rating. The highway EPA range rating is 233 miles. 
And this is a highway range test. Although the way the EPA tests highway range isn't exactly the way we do it. They don't go on the highway and drive constant 70 miles an hour. It's a, it's a different cycle the way they get the highway range rating. Uh, but you know, we, we use the EPA range numbers just as a measuring stick when we do these range tests. Uh, your range is always gonna vary depending on topography, weather, speed, uh, the climate, uh, there, there's so many different things that can affect range. When we do the Inside EV Highway range tests, we always like to make sure everybody knows this isn't like a number that's set in stone. This is what somebody could expect if they drove a Bolt EV in similar conditions that I had at a constant 70 miles an hour on the highway. Okay, so we're killing it. <laughs> we're on pace for 260, but you know, very rarely do the EVs we drive match their same range in each quarter of the range test. That always changes. Our consumption rate is at 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour. For our European friends, that's 15.9 kilowatt hour for every 100 kilometers driven. Uh, pretty good consumption rating. We're almost at four miles per kilowatt hour. That's excellent for driving at 70 miles an hour. The Bolt EV is, is a very efficient car in good temperature driving at 70 miles an hour. This is actually better than what I expected so far, but things can change. We're gonna check back in at 50% state of charge. We'll see where we're at and we'll see if things have changed. All right, checking in at 50% state of charge. We're halfway home and we have gone 129 miles. So almost as far as we went in the first quarter, we went 65 miles and in this quarter we went 64 miles. So I tell you, this guy's doing really well. Could we beat the 259 mile combined EPA range rating? We're on course for just about tying it and there's always a few miles that we could squeeze out at the end after the uh, range estimator says zero, which actually one of the things I hate about the Bolt EV, I really do like the Bolt EV, but I hate that once it gets down to about 10 miles, it stops giving you an estimated uh, remaining range. It just says low. And uh, that's hard for me when we're doing these range tests because I really don't know when we're at zero. It also doesn't give you a numeric state of charge. You don't get to see 50%, 40%. It's just the bars that go down as you drive. So uh, it makes it really hard for us when we do the range tests on the Bolt EV because I don't know when it's at zero. I really have to pay good attention to the, the throttle response when I step on the accelerator because as you get to the end, you get into turtle mode and then it, it gets even weaker. So this is gonna be a little tricky at the end of this range test because I wanna squeeze out every mile that we can get, but I really hate that GM takes away your estimated remaining range once you get down to uh, like 10 miles remaining. And that's like when people need it the most, when they're maybe not going to make it somewhere and they really want to see that. I could see this really bringing on range anxiety to people that are new to EVs and I, I don't know why they do that. They have the, the, the remaining range listed on the driver's display the whole time you're driving but then when it gets down to only 10 miles left they take it away from you. It's like okay now you guess how far you can go. Anyway, um, so for this quarter, we're still at 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour, which as I said before, was 15.9 kilowatt hour for every 100 kilometers driven. And uh, hey, we're on pace to meet the combined EPA range rating. We'll check back in at 25% state of charge and we'll see if we're still on pace. All right, we're at the final checkpoint. Before we finish up, we're at 25% state of charge and we went the furthest in that last leg. We actually covered 66 miles and we're at 195 miles driven. I think we're gonna hit the EPA combined range rating of 259 miles today. Um, it's a great day for range. We're up to 89 degrees now. There's no wind, so the battery's nice and warm. It's gonna give it give us all it could give us today and uh, really good. The consumption rate now is at four miles per kilowatt hour. So that translates to 15.5 kilowatt hour for every 100 kilometers driven for our European friends. So yeah, the efficiency has crept up a little bit better. 
Um, it might be just on this course that we do on the New Jersey Turnpike. There are slight elevation changes, just of a couple hundred feet back and forth. And we do these long loops on the turnpike. So sometimes I might be on a, a circle that uh, benefits the car for range. Uh, one quarter of the range test might be where I'm driving downhill a little bit. But as I said, this course here in New Jersey is relatively flat. So it's pretty good to do range testing. You really don't want to do a range test where you're climbing, you know, many hundreds of feet or thousands of feet. Uh, and you don't like to do them where you start at one point and end at one point. Because, you know, to really be fair to the car, it should have be on flat surface. You should control as many of the variables as you can. And that's what we do when we do the inside EVs range test. It's why I drive in circles so I finish up where I started. All right, we're going to check back in when we're done. I'm guessing we're going to do 260 here today uh, and beat the EPA range rating by one mile. But let's see. Um, coming up in a minute, you're going to find out. But I tell you, I'm super impressed with this Bolt EV. Uh, for like an affordable commuter car, this thing's great. And uh, Chevrolet just lowered the price. It's going to be down to uh, the, the Bolt EV 1 LT starts at 26,595, I think it is, right around there. And that's a tremendous value for this car that goes 250 miles on the highway. Now it DC fast charges really poorly. That's its really weak spot. I probably wouldn't get this if I was gonna do a lot of long road trips. The occasional wrong road trip, you could put up with it, but if you need this to frequently drive many hundreds of miles, it might not be the best choice because it, it it's only peaks at about 50 kilowatt. It takes a super long time to charge. Home charging, it's pretty good though. It has a 48 amp onboard charger, so it can accept over 11 kilowatt, and it'll charge up really quickly at home. But when you're on those long road trips, you really wanna be back out on the road in less than 45 minutes. And with this guy here, you could be waiting an hour and a half and uh, you know just to get to maybe 80% charged. And that's a tough pill to swallow. But uh, as I said, if you, only do the occasional road trip. You could live with that. Uh, and as a daily commuter, if you can charge at home, this uh, Bolt EV is a great choice for an affordable electric vehicle. All right, we'll check back in when we're at the Electrify America charging station, and we'll talk about the final results. Okay, so remember earlier how I was complaining that the Bolt EV does not have a numeric state of charge display on the driver's screen? And also, once you get down to a really low state of charge, the estimated remaining miles just goes away and it says low. Well, I was trying to squeeze out as many miles as I can in this range test and this happened. All right, well, I knew eventually this was gonna happen and today's the day. I've talked about this in our previous range tests, how sometimes I barely make it to the charging station. Well, today with the 2022 Chevy Bolt EV, I didn't make it. I'm about a mile short of the Electrify America DC fast charger and she won't go another foot. I think the biggest problem is I'm in an incline here. When I got off the turnpike, there's an incline. Looks like I got to climb about 25, 30 feet over this maybe a quarter mile uh, stretch. And you know, even it's only that much had just the fact that it's an incline, the car can't do it. I think if it was flat terrain here, I'd be able to crawl to the charging station. So we finished up with 260.1 miles and I used the entire 65 kilowatt hour battery pack. I'm waiting for a tow truck now. I'm safely off the highway. I'm behind the guardrail and uh, supposed to be coming in about 45 minutes, but uh, that's it for the inside EVs, 70 mile an hour highway range test for the 2022 Chevy Bolt EV. We finished up with 260 miles and that's all it's gonna do, which is actually a great result. We, the EPA combined range rating is 259, so I actually beat that. I crushed the EPA highway range rating, but it's not really the result that I'm looking for. Um, going to be waiting here for about 45 minutes for a tow truck. So it is what it is. I knew it was going to happen eventually. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, please click that subscribe button and ring your notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. Cheers.